Hello, so in this video we want to look at uh, the drugs for malaria, anti-malarial drugs, pharmacology. So <clears throat> this uh, video assumes that you know everything about malaria, the life cycle, what it is caused by, everything you know, that is what we are assuming. So if you have, if you don't know about malaria, the parasite, that is the plasmodium, vivax, plasmodium, falciparum, their life cycles, if you don't know, it is better to go to our microbiology videos sorry, our parasitology videos and watch there, okay. So, this diagram hopefully you know, mosquito bite injects sporozoids, liver they become merozoids, merozoids enter RBC, rupture of RBC causes the disease, causes the clinical features, <clears throat> some merozoids become gametocytes, the gametocytes then are picked up by the mosquito, the next mosquito that bites, the female Anopheles mosquito. And then uh, inside the mosquito, the sexual life cycle happens. And uh, again, uh, here the you can see the gametes are formed here from the gametocytes. The gametes are uh, formed. The gametes fuse to form zygote. Ukinet, oocyst, oocyst, inside oocyst, again there are sporozoids. The mosquito next bites the human, it injects the sporozoids. Okay. So this much very basically we have told you. Go through the detailed video. Okay. Later. So you should know these terms. Okay. Basically in man it's a schizogony. There's a pre-erythrocytic schizogony happening in the liver. There's an erythrocytic schizogony in the RBC. Then you have gametogony. Then you have this one sporogony. Sporogony results in sporozoids. Okay. <clears throat> so, in this video, actually we want to cover the pharmacology of, an, uh, of malaria, right? Malaria drugs, so anti-malarial drugs we want to cover. These are the anti-malarial drugs, so many are there. As it is not possible to remember everything, the suggestion is to just look at the main ones for now. Chloroquine, very, 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 very important. Chloroquine. Chloroquine has been there for a long time. Malaria also has been there for a long time. So, chloroquine you should know. <clears throat> it is even used for prophylaxis. It is mainly active against uh, vivax because plasmodium has also uh, it's, uh, already become uh, resistant to chloroquine. So, chloroquine is mainly active against plasmodium vivax. Okay. There are very few sensitive plasmodium falciparum, uh, you know, for chloroquine. So, chloroquine mainly you can say plasmodium vivax and very few plasmodium falciparum. It can also be used for prophylaxis. Then come to this one, um, artemisinin. Because in the exam they have asked chloroquine and uh, artemisinin. Okay, artemisinin, they have also given it here as dihydroartemisinin. It is fastest acting drug. So you should know artemisinin also. Apart from this, uh, these two which have been asked in the exam, you should know other drugs like, look at this, artesunate and artemether. Artesunate and artemether, these are used to treat severe falciparum malaria. Okay, what are those? Artesunate and artemether. You should know these two drugs guys. Then coming to, other drugs like uh, for prophylaxis, they use mifloquine. Mifloquine used for prophylaxis, you can know that one also. Then let's go here, quinine. Quinine you should know, chincona alkaloid. It comes from this plant called chincona. Chincona alkaloid, quinine. Okay, it's very toxic guys, this one. Wait, let me show you the photo of chinkona. This is the chinkona plant guys. Let's put it into our slide. Hold on. <clears throat> this is the chinkona plant. Chinkona alkaloid, quinine, okay. Now let's go back. Where were we? So far what and all we saw? We saw that chloroquine, very important, uh, the most important drug, you should never forget, exam wise also they have asked chloroquine. It is mainly active against uh, plasmodium vivax, very few plasmodium falciparum, it is used for prophylaxis. Then you have mefloquine, which is also used for prophylaxis. Quinine comes from the chinkona plant, it is very toxic, it's the most toxic uh, anti-malarial drug. 
then you have proguanil proguanil also used uh, for what it is not marked hold on so this proguanil actually <clears throat> it is uh, used against uh, it is used as a causal prophylaxis in like america and all those things but not in india okay it is mainly active against falciparum this proguanil mainly targets the pre erythrocytic phase so that if the person um, you know has not got the clinical features yet then you can give this so that he doesn't get a full blown disease so it's more mainly for the pro uh, pre erythrocytic phase so what and all we have covered till now guys uh, chloroquine also called as cq it is used for clinical cure of malaria it can be used as prof for normal prophylaxis that is suppression prophylaxis it is mainly active against vivax and a few very uh, falciparum few sensitive pa falciparum mefloquinquine again the suppression uh, uh, prophylaxis and then quinine which is very toxic it is from the uh, chinchona plant Proguanil is um, used for causal prophylaxis, but not exactly in India. Then coming to this one, primaquine. See, primaquine very important. You should know this. Primaquine actually, it is used for radical cure. Radical cure means to prevent relapse because primaquine is the only one which is able to, um, you know, work on the hypnozoids. Hypnozoids are there in Plasmodium vivax. So uh, let me show you this table. Hold on. see this one there are so many stages and forms right in that if you see hypnozoids will be present for plasmodium vivax so the relapse will be main in plasmodium vivax so to kill the hypnozoids primaquine can be used this will prevent relapse so it is for a radical cure primaquine okay so far we told you quinine is very toxic so here you can see toxicity grading for quinine from the chinchona plant it is very toxic then let us move back and see the other drugs then coming here doxycycline clindamycin typical antibiotics which you can uh, doxycycline can be used for prophylaxis then coming to uh, artesunate and artemether artesunate and artemether are used for uh, treating severe falciparum okay so remember if a person has severe falciparum malaria then you have to think arti sunate arti metha okay then you have a dihydro arti micinim that is the fastest actually dihydro arti micinim i think that much is enough for now if you want just look at all the other names and uh, if you want you can read them uh, let us just revise before wind, uh, closing this video at least the uh, five names you should take back from this video okay guys these the five names are these five names you should know guys chloroquine primaquine artesunate artemether artemisinin so where exactly these come chloroquine primaquine Okay, so five names you should take back from this video, guys. That's all for now. Next video, let's continue with the details of chloroquine. Okay, chloroquine important. Let's come back and look at the details of chloroquine in the next video.